often get asked the question, what's the difference between Reiki 1, Reiki 2, as well as the other levels? And the most obvious answer, of course, is that you go deeper into the practice, you learn more, you get to practice more, you begin to work on others if you choose. That's the more obvious answer, and it is true. The thing that I like to talk about is why I love Reiki 2 so much, as this is the next class coming up for you. So Reiki 2 is just so creative and so expansive. It takes everything you learned in Reiki 1, and then it adds a whole bunch more. And for me, it actually became the way in which I began to use Reiki in my everyday life. I know many of you heard me talk about using the rights. Reiki is that first right, right, R. But it began to allow me to use it in almost every thing I worked with. So in Reiki 2, we learn what we call symbols, all right? They're all different kind of symbols, and we go into these kind of symbols and how using the symbols can help you to empower everything that you're doing. It's also the way in which we learn the protocols for sending energy at a distance, all right? But there's so many fun things. It took Reiki from being just a body practice and self-care, calming down, balancing the four levels, into really learning how to manifest, how to rid yourself of addictions, how to let go of limits and beliefs in terms of the energy part of it. All right. I actually use tapping for some of that as well, but the Reiki has tools that can help you remove what I would call like obstacles and blocks. All right. It also then becomes really great when we start to use it in everyday objects, things, manifesting, goals, things like this. All right. So some of the things that we also do in Reiki too not all teachers, but me, I like to, is we began to work with crystals. All right, so crystals I love. So with Reiki 2, we apply Reiki to the crystals. I teach you how to really start to feel the difference in all those crystals. You also get a little chakra crystal bag, all right, with the class of all the chakras. And actually now I'm starting to teach not only the seven, seven, in body chakras, but the five additional out of body chakras, something I've been studying all year with the work of Cindy Dale. I love it. I love those five. I kind of used them, but didn't label them the same way or define them the same way. So we will be doing that and we'll learn how to use Reiki in the stones as well as how to place them on the body. We learn long distance techniques. You virtually, you can send energy anywhere. You can have classes. You can have sessions with people. And I'll show you kind of how I do it. All right, not the greatest in drawing pictures, but this is for one of my clients. She lives in Philadelphia. And so I have notes about her, things she's working on. And I use this, and I'll teach you this in the class, to lay the chakra stones on there as you're working with the energy. Really amazing results. We'll also talk about the tarot and how you can use it to charge your cards before you start a session. Really empowering. It really is. We'll also talk about the way in which Reiki and sound. Wait, let's do that again. So when we work with that, we'll teach you how to work with that and, and really like magnify that energy out. There's just so many ways of doing it. How to work with your essential oils, how to work with like vision boards. All right, I see this in the corner of my eye. So not only do we set the visions, we also then charge it with Reiki and we start to bring things out into the world by manifesting. In fact, here's something really fun. Charge this. We actually stayed in a glamping site that looked just like this. And it's like, oh my God, when I came back from Arkansas, I noticed this on my vision board. All right, little Reiki, remove the obstacles. I actually put a spiral. If you come to the class, you're going to walk the spiral. Not exactly, but the intention is same, very similar in our, in our house here in my backyard. All right, and I'm actually going to, I know it's somewhere on here, Costa Rica. That just like came out of, I don't know where, right? So it really is amazing that when we work with Reiki and we add it into what we're doing, everything is energy, right? We start with that complete concept. Everything is energy. It's amazing what can come forward and how you can begin to learn to use Reiki in your everyday life. All right. It also works on the mental, emotional level balancing. It also starts to get into some of that psychological rate of Reiki, like the fear and the addictions, the things that keep us safe. 
You can work on it with relationships. It's just so creative and so much fun in the Reiki 2 class. It's a lot, but we also practice so you're able to get your skills better. So many things that you can do in the Reiki 2 class. I love it. It's one of my most favorite classes to teach. We'll practice with each other and it just like opens you up to so many things. Charging your field of energy, sending energy out, all these many things. My reasons for loving Reiki and how Reiki 2 differs from Reiki 1. I'll hope you'll join us. To your spirit, namaste.